Hello folks and welcome again to another Halo Fan for Life toy review. This is the Mega Bloks Micro Warthog set and the set number is 97216. As you can see this has a collectible helmet and within that you can put the pieces to the uh, set if you'd like. Otherwise, this is actually, this part is the back of the helmet and it clicks in as you can see here. Oops. <laughs> as you can see here, uh, there's a couple little tabs on the back part and they slide in here. These parts here lock into place with the side grooves and it fits on top. Also, just so you know, this can fit the helmet onto uh, standard Mega Bloks uh, parts here. So, uh, you know, if you want to stick it onto a diorama or something like that, you can do that. Okay, so let's take a look at the individual uh, parts to this set. Okay, as I mentioned, this is the back piece here, and these pieces make up a forerunner structure. Now, what I did, since you can't really have this free floating off of the base because it doesn't have a base plate to keep it all together, and these little pieces here, and I'll show you, these little slope pieces right here uh, are actually free floating. So you can't really do that uh, and have it, uh, you know, sit, sit like that. I mean, you could, but you just have these pieces floating, and if you knocked it over, you might lose the pieces. So I did a quick little mod on this, um, and it's pretty simple. Uh, it doesn't take much to do. I took these little slope pieces and I put them on the sides here. I took the little tail fins and I reversed them like this. Let me take one of these off, makes it a little easier. Okay, I took the smaller of the slopes that was part of the base, put it in front here, put the square piece here, put back on this. Now, you could leave it here and say that this is some cool little forerunner ship. You know, there's the exhaust on the back, uh, and you could say that. Or, if you wanted to, you just add back on that large slope here, the large one by three. And now, as you can see, it can stand by itself with all the pieces intact, or of course, you can put it back on the base. Okay, so let's move on now to the minifigure. And the minifigure is, uh, well, basically it's like Master Chief. Uh, you know, if you don't have Master Chief already, uh, you can certainly use this one in place of it. It's a nice, good green to it, some black uh, detailing inside, and it comes with this cool railgun. Um, we've seen this figure before in uh, the uh, Halo 4 uh, Warthog set, and uh, uh, again, a variant of them, the actual Master Chief figure did come with the forward on Tadon. Okay, let me move this one out of the way here, and let's get to the meat of what this set really is, and that's the Rocket Hog itself. So, this is a, a cool little set, and uh, I don't think I mentioned the piece count. The piece count is 93 pieces with this, and uh, of course that accounts for, uh, I would imagine, the base and the forerunner parts and the figure, but uh, this is really uh, the gem of the set, and uh, it's very tiny. Um, if you look at it, in fact, here's the, uh, the figure size, so you can see it's not even as tall as the Master Chief figure. Uh, what's cool is they built it in such a way that well, the rocks are easy to come off, but anyways, but they can turn on that little uh, nub right there, the little stud. So you've got that. Uh, it's got all the cool details. You know, it's got its lights here in the back. Um, it's got its, uh, you know, its, its uh, claws as its standard has. Um, some nice little slope pieces here in the front and to the sides. And this nifty little piece that's normally used for a regular sized mongoose uh, is now used as the crossbar in the back. And it's got those nice little slope parts right here, just like, like the Warthog does. And inside, not really room for, you know, uh, for much of anything. Um, maybe they could have added a couple pieces, but really, you know, it's fine as it is. Um, but uh, it's got, of course, the four wheels that will roll. Now, it doesn't have suspension like the larger one does, but really in a micro uh, uh, vehicle such as this, I don't expect something like that. Uh, this set retails for uh, $15.00. Uh, at most stores, most large uh, look, uh, stores, it might be slightly higher at a couple other places, so I'd look around and find it for that $15 price point. Uh, so again, 
that's the uh, the warthog here. Yeah, you see how how it looks on all sides. Very cool little micro ship, and I'm so glad that uh, Mega Blocks decided to uh, make mini vehicles. I had been asking them for uh, for years if they would do that, and uh, I don't know if I had any impact on you know who can say, but uh, I am, regardless, I am glad that they finally did make these, um, and they're cool little collectible pieces. Um, the great thing is, is because they're so small, if you have a large diorama, you could put these in the background uh, to really help flesh out your diorama and make it look bigger than it really is. Um, and so that's, you know, really cool about that. Now, hopefully, um, you know, since there's not much of a difference, they could probably either reissue this set or, you know, somebody uh, crafty could come up with a simple solution to make, uh, instead of rockets, you can make a Gauss, uh, Gauss cannon. In fact, you can almost do that with this one already, just by taking off uh, one side of the rockets and then, you know, doing this and saying, okay, well, now it's a Gauss cannon, you know, instead. Uh, and in fact, if you really wanted to, uh, let me just add this in here just to make sure it's a little bit longer. You just add one of those uh, three pieces there, and now you say, okay, that's a gauze cannon instead. So there you have it. That is the Rocket Hog uh, micro set from Mega Blocks, and I want to thank you very much for tuning in. As always, you can go to my blog, halofanforlife.com, where I have many other toy reviews. I do reviews of the comic books, the novels, uh, basically anything. Of course, the games, and I uh, do tips and tricks and a bunch of other things on there. Uh, news from all over the uh, Halo universe, whether it comes out of Halo Waypoint, or I happen to find other things. Um, so, uh, again, thanks for uh, taking a look at this. Give me a reply down below, and uh, we'll see you next time.